Hello and welcome to this video tour of the Representation UK app. This application was developed by Information, that's Information with a 1 and a 0, and it's an interactive and downloadable and shareable app that explores the system of representation for the UK. When we first start the application, we are taken on a flying tour of the United Kingdom from above and we can see that down below each of the constituencies of the UK is broken into a separate chunk and it's coloured with the colours of the parties currently in power in each of those regions. So I'm just going to end the flying tour and go back down to the ground. We'll look at the flying tour a little more later. So I'm starting standing on the Isle of Wight down in the south of the UK and just using my mouse to look around. And that little white circle in the middle of the screen shows me the center of where I'm looking. And if I look at a different constituency, a different chunk of the map, you can see in the top left-hand corner it's telling me the name of the constituency I'm looking at. I can also walk around using the arrows on my keyboard, so backwards and forwards. And I can explore the UK in this way and look at each of the constituencies. If I want to get a better view of where I am, and the rest of the UK, I can hit the space key to jump or to double jump and just get a, a good uh, view of the area and I can orient, orientate myself and find where I want to go to next. You can see in the bottom right hand side of the screen you can see it says press control to see guidance and control so I've just done that and it's telling me all the different keys and buttons I can press to use this application. So I can also press enter to go back on a flying tour, I can press space to jump, shift to view the map from above, or the alt or option key to view the citations and the sources. So it also mentioned in there that numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4 bring up these information panels. So I'm just pressing number 1, as you can see in the bottom right of the screen, number 1 brings up the top information panel. And that's now showing me the current MP for each constituency, along with their party, their share of the votes, and who was the runner-up in the most recent 2017 election. So just heading over to this patch, which is a lot of small Labour-held constituencies representing London, and you can see, i um, showing you my own home constituency now in Hackney, where um, we can see the share of the vote for Meg Hillier, and we can see the runners-up and their share of the vote so just pressing 1 again to close that panel at the top, I'm now going to press number 2 and this brings up the panel on the left. So this is showing us statistics for each of the constituencies. Now there are two pages of statistics. The first one shows the age groups in that area. The second part of it shows the types of settlements people live in. So obviously we're in London where 100% of people are living in um, the, the core city. And then the second page of statistics shows additional information about employment, about the cost of housing, educational attainment, and also Ofsted school ratings. So there's a lot of information in there. And as I turn my head and look at different constituencies, that updates automatically. So I can quite easily compare, for example, the average weekly pay in each constituency, or the unemployment rate, or the median house price. So we can see there, Chelsea and Fulham, median house price in that area is very high. And next to each one of those statistics, it also gives an indication of how that compares to the UK average. So I've just pressed 2 again to close that panel and press 3 to bring up the panel on the right. This gives you future information about election candidates, which at the moment is empty because we don't have a scheduled election. So pressing 3 again to close that and number 4 brings up the bottom panel. This gives us a historical view of recent elections and how the voting has changed. So it shows the 2015 and 2017 results for the top five parties on each of those graphs. So you can see how voting has changed between those two elections. And you can also see how the turnout of the vote has changed. So just walking around the UK, I'm going to go and visit the, the Birmingham area in the Midlands. You can see Dudley, Hells Owen. And pressing 1, 2, 3 and 4 brings up all of these different panels at the same time. So you can see all of it together. Just closing number 3 because that's, that's only relevant if we've got an election coming up. You can also see that because I've got panel 2 and 4 open at the same time, it's also giving me in the bottom left corner the Brexit vote result. 
So these additional pieces of information come up when the, the two panels um, uniting to, to bring that information in the corner. So you can see the, the remain and the leave vote shown for each constituency in the bottom left. So here we're looking at Theresa May's constituency of Maidenhead and all the information connected with that. And again, all of that information is automatically updating as you look at a different constituency. So let's explore the UK a little bit more. Just jump up in the air so I can get an idea of where I am and where I'm going. And looking at the Brexit result, we're just going to have a look at Stoke-on-Trent, which is um, known to have the, the highest leave percentage. So you can see their 72% leave vote in the bottom left-hand corner. And if I bring up that panel on the right, number three, that top right corner is now giving me some more information. So I could now press the V key to register to vote. So not only is this providing information, it's also uh, enabling people to take action and to engage in politics. So you can press V to be taken directly to the voter registration page on their web browser. And there are also a couple of other buttons where you can access the voting records of MPs and also the parliamentary record for every MP as well using the, the keys on that right-hand panel. So just having a look around Northern Ireland, we've obviously got the Sinn Féin and DUP constituencies here, also shown on the map. And over to Scotland, where we've got a lot more yellow constituencies representing the SNP. And just having a look around at some of the constituencies there. And you can see that it extends to the north, showing the islands in the North Sea. Just bringing up the controls again so we can have a look there. And I can see that by pressing shift, it will give me a bird's eye view of the map. So I've just pressed left shift and I can see London. Left shift again will take me to the southwest. And pressing it again to the Midlands. And again, will take me to the north of England. And then left shift again will take me to Northern Ireland and left again to Scotland. And if I wanted to cycle through those in the opposite direction, I could use the right shift. So I can go through the different bird's eye views in any order I want by using left and right shift. So bringing up the controls again with the control key, I can see that by pressing Alt, I can see the citations and sources. So there are three pages of information on the, the sources of data here. So we've got the first five, general election results, population breakdowns by age group, um, there are a uh, piece of information about the settlement types and also the country of birth. And then on the second page, we've got unemployment figures, median house price, changes in housing prices over the last five years, educational attainment, and also Ofsted school ratings, and finally the Brexit referendum results. So these Brexit results are taken from uh, two data sources, the, the BBC um, obtained a Freedom of Information report from some constituencies, but the other constituencies are estimated, and that was based on the Hanretti paper. Okay. You can also get more detailed information about data sources online, and the, the web address for finding that on the information.com website is given in the citations and sources information box. So just returning to the map, I'm going to press enter to return to our flying tour of the UK and just let the camera give us a guided tour of the, the whole of the United Kingdom. And while I do, while uh, we have a look at that, I'll just introduce some of the other features that are possible with this application. So at the moment, this is not for public release and we're only sharing it with a select uh, number of organizations. This application can obviously be modified and any kind of data can be represented in a similar way. Not only uh, can you show constituency breakdowns, you could also break it down into regions, cities, um, NHS commissioning groups, any kind of 
uh, region could be uh, it could be broken down into any kind of region and represented in a map like this and also it could be extended well beyond the UK you could for instance show a global map with uh, data about different countries around the world and you could walk around the entire globe whilst exploring the data Now obviously this is also a very flat map, it's possible to include three-dimensional objects so if you wanted to represent the different industries in different areas for instance or to show landmarks um, or to show cities or flags or some other kind of representation to visual help visualize the map and the data that's being shared with it. So we are at the moment looking for organizations who think that they can use this kind of application. Obviously there's a lot of potential here for people to learn and to share information and to present things in a very engaging and memorable way and to also make this available as an interactive download. So we're, we're looking for interest from um, publishers, media outlets, campaign groups, activist groups, think tanks, researchers, universities, any kind of organization who thinks that they could make use of this kind of application and take it in different directions. So there's different ways that that might work. It might be a, a sponsorship deal where we develop a application such as this and make it available exclusively to that organization or it could be something that they might want to monetize and might want to make available to their own audience. It could also be used for interactive presentations, live events and things like this. Once the application is made it's available online, it can be downloaded for PC or Mac and also developed for mobile and that can be easily downloaded via a web link, an email or uh, social media sharing. It's also perfect for uh, universities, teachers, online um, courses and programs to give people a data resource and an information resource that can be used for education and it's very very powerful cr for creating new content so it's possible to release this kind of application with a Creative Commons license and in doing so you can enable your audience to take screenshots and to record videos and they can then use this to create their own content, their own websites, their own um, perhaps put it on a, a YouTube channel or something like this and in that way the information can then be propagated out and can spread much more easily using the power of online resources and the internet. Um, so we're offering demonstrations to any organization that's interested in this kind of technology and maybe in developing their own application, their own data source, data resource and their own visualization of uh, part of the UK or of the world and if you'd like to talk with us simply send an email to contact at information.com that's information with a one and a zero and we can arrange to meet for a demonstration a face-to-face -face demonstration anywhere in the UK or you can simply get in touch with us by email if you have any questions Okay, that's the end of the video tour and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please get in touch if you want to know more. Thank you very much.